before beginning the video i have a gentle reminder that the audio wasn't recording with the video so i am recording the video afterward uh, in the editing so stay tuned everything is working the video is completely fine and one more thing use it in 1.25x for faster playback will we see how we can do a scheduling backup in django a weekly backup of your database first uh, we will be using aps scheduler and django uh, uh, database uh, django db backup so we will just install it and we'll install aps scheduler to uh, schedule our tasks of weekly task and you can also uh, do in minutes and hours how how you like it okay so we have to put it in install labs install labs the same we have to do for db backup we have to put uh, it in install labs Uh, there was actually a middle there was a location where we have to put database backup uh, where it is uh, yes here uh, db backup storage and the db storage options uh, the location is the file where you want to store the location i will be creating a base uh, i will be creating a uh, what you call it a backup directory here in my project folder a new folder i will create a backup folder name backup sorry for the background noises okay uh, now we have to make migrations and migrate the server i have actually did this process so there are no mi uh, migrations like so there are no mi migrations here but maybe in your case it can there be there present there now what happens is like we can uh, use this command like python manage or py db backup to create a backup for this you can just use a command line to use this function and it will take the backup of your database in a sec if i run this again you can see here but the thing is we have to do this on weekly basis we have to use the same command the command line command in the weekly basis so i will delete it so after that i will show you how you can use this command and after the command line i will show you how you can do this by using api scheduler by scheduling for weekly i will do it for one minute uh, you won't stay a uh, week long video okay so i have created this dummy function what uh, what it does uh, so i have created this function name as trial what it does is use the call command to make a backup for the database the call command does actually the same thing as the command line does like i am typing python manage.db backup in the command line but how does django does that so uh, we can use the call command to call this thing same as that you can see python manage.py so it will call the same thing as mentioned above using the call command so i will show you the urls of this page how we are accessing it so uh, if i show you the urls you can see uh, it will be going the first means no there will be no any not uh, any sub protocols uh, if i run my run local host run the server it will be the first page as you can there is only one database in my in the on the left side there is only one database backup so if i run this on my host as you can see database has been created now, now there are two databases here so means one file created one was previous so uh, now i will show you how to you can do is by using the aps scheduler to schedule this task on a weekly basis so first we have to make a scheduler folder in the app directory where your app is my app name is api so you have to name the folder scheduler uh, after that i have to put a file name schedule.py uh, first yeah first we have to put the uh, init function in it so a uh, python what init does is python consider this as a package a python package so it will look in it so python does this so we have to put a init in it after that i have to make a scheduler.py where the all the i will make the task 
now from we have to use the command so we'll do from APS scheduler dot scheduler dot background uh, import background scheduler Put background scheduler after that we have to do two or three more import from Django the underscore APS scheduler dot job stores import Django job store And after that we can do uh, what was the command for it from Django dot co dot management dot co dot management import call command uh, what does it's the same command I explained us previously what does call command do uh, it, uh, if you are typing in the command line uh, it is the same thing it sends the command like that so first you have to make a function I will make a function named db underscore backup and I will just call command uh, db backup but uh, just that's it you need to do for backup but just the thing is you have to call this command every week every week or every hour or every minute so we can use try except clause uh, there is also one thing uh, we can use if I pass ex uh, except pass so it's not a good practice to pass except so what we can do is we can use the context library library to suppress the exceptions coming so yeah <laughs> and use the sorcery word uh, give a recommendation for us yeah we can use this it's the same thing as try uh, and except block with a pass the same thing as try and accept block with the pass and coming to it uh, sorry for the background <laughs> my dog is barking so if coming to it we have to create one more function not called start In this this is the real function this function will call the db backup function this function will call the db backup function scheduler equal to background scheduler And after that, we have to add a job store, Django job store, uh, with a def with a value of default. Uh, this default value will be used uh, when we will give uh, add a job in the job store. We will use that default value. It can be any value, but uh, unique actually. So we'll uh, default. You can see it is uh, there. Uh, after that scheduler dot add job we have to add a job and in this we have to put the command of db backup comma interval yeah the backup uh, this backup command uh, the job will be called by the backup command in this add job will call the db backup command interval comma Uh, yeah in double quotes we have to put in double after that weeks equal to one uh, but uh, we won't be using weeks as a uh, it will be far more hard to store we will use a minute minute equal to one so it will run for just a single minute every single minute job store equal to default uh, and uh, the thing after this we have to place an id what does id do uh, you have question arises what does id do it is the same as thing id can't be duplicate okay so if there is a, a task with this id there can't be more tasks with the same id so if there is task name weekly backup so there won't be multiple weekly backup present here so 
we have to put an id and after that we can use something called replace underscore existing equal to true in this so what it will do agar if uh, one more command launches by mistake or some other it will replace this command with a newer command so uh, there is a thing called schedule dot start but before that we have to register the events we have to register the events of the scheduler so I have to import one more thing known as register events and we will register this event of scheduler and after that we will start the schedule dot start so everything look good say now uh, yeah if you find this video informative please leave a like i am recording the audio afterwards so it will be hard for me to just uh, means manage it so yeah uh, you know there was a lag in between the video so uh, now coming back to this we in the app in the our scheduler uh, in the api in the app section we have to go in the apps.py file and uh, here when the app is loading when the app is getting ready we can use the def ready to check when the app get ready and we will just execute this uh, job uh, this uh, api scheduler will execute this api scheduler uh, from dot imports api uh, from dot um scheduler dot scheduler from scheduler you can see we have import the scheduler file now one more question arises why i have put the import statement inside the ready because what happens uh, the if i put the statement above it won't work actually because after all the things get ready you can use the import and all the things because currently it is not available outside the ready so if i use manage dot run server to check if the scheduler is starting uh argument min minute i think there was a problem yes 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 minutes 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 uh, it should be minutes not minute i put a running name running also so you can see running it is working it is completely working here now uh, i have already two backups so let's see after a minute one eternity later so as you can see it's almost been a minute uh, you can see on the left uh, there there is one more backup has been created of this all it won't uh, contain images uh, if I forgot to mention it won't contain images for images also there you can back up the images in some AWS or something there is also command for it so if I uh, the question arises how can I restore this if I delete the database as you can see I deleted my database and I will run python manage.py db restore command what it does it will the re it will restore from the recent the most recent uh, backup and as you can see the new uh, database has been created and it restored all the content. There will be some errors of a uh, unique value or a something.